would be the biggest challenges between the traditional, the cluster, or the household model? I, I think that it's really just philosophical differences in, in the way that we want to approach care. Um, we tend to be, as a field of work, we tend to be a little bit slow to respond to changing developments. Uh, but clearly, there's, there's marketplace forces that are, that are causing us to shift and adapt to the way people want to live today. And so that old style of nursing home uh, just really isn't the style that people are choosing. Um, I kind of use the metaphor of an outhouse, you know, that, that people, um, people only go to the outhouse if it's the last resort. Still fully functional, still fulfills its intended purpose, but nobody ever wants to go there if there's any other alternative. And I think those uh, kind of institutional, traditional models of nursing care are gonna become the outhouses. People will go there if there's just absolutely no other alternative. But boy, if they have a choice where they can live in an environment where, uh, where they can live fully, where, where they can guide their day and live the way they wanna live, then that would certainly be the preference of all of us. You know, one of the other key aspects to the household model is the kitchen. Instead of having that big um, institutional nursing set, nurses station in the center of the living environment, uh, that space is now dominated by the kitchen. And, and it really is the way that we live at home. I mean, life revolves around the kitchen. And uh, by having that open kitchen, you can not just smell the food that's cooking through the course of the day. I mean, that research has shown that stimulates appetites and, and creates a healthier environment. Um, but in addition to that, you get to hear the normal sounds of life that we're all used to hearing. You know, the mixer going to mash the potatoes before dinner, the dishwasher being loaded after dinner and starting to run. And those sounds, those noises, those smells just really remind people that they're at home, they're not in the hospital. And so even people who are living with significant levels of dementia tend to kind of come into these household environments and they just sort of breathe more deeply and, and they relax a little bit more. And even the behaviors that we typically have seen associated with the traditional nursing home environment tend to just fade away because people are at home and they sense that at a very deep level. <laughs>